Edmund Gwen was an English actor. On film, he is perhaps best remembered for his role as Chris Kringle in the 1947 film Miracle on 34th Street, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. As a stage actor in the West End and on Broadway, he was associated with a wide range of works by modern playwrights, including Bernard Shaw, John Galsworthy and J. B. Priestley. After the Second World War, he lived in the United States where he had a successful career in Hollywood and on Broadway. Life in career Early years Gwen was born Edmund John Kellaway in Wandsworth, London. His brother was the actor Arthur Chesney and his cousin Cecil Kellaway. Gwen was educated at St. Olive's School and later at King's College London. He began his acting career in the theatre in 1895, and learned his craft as a member of Willie Edwin's company, playing brash comic roles. In 1901 he married Minnie Terry, niece of the famous actress Ellen Terry. In the same year he went to Australia and acted there for three years with the J. C. Williamson Company. His wife accompanied him and when Gwen was in a production of Ben-Hur that was a disastrous failure, she restored the couple's fortunes by accepting an engagement from Williamson. Later, the couple appeared on stage together in London in a farce called What the Butler Saw in 1905 and in 1911. When Irene Vanbrugh made her debut in Variety, she chose Terry and Gwen to join her in a short play specially written by J. M. Barry. When he returned to London Gwen appeared not in low comedy, but in what the Times called a notably intellectual and even sophisticated setting at the court theatre under the management of J. E. Vadrena and Harley Granville Barker. There, in 1905-1907, in the words of the Times, he was invaluable in smaller parts, giving every part he played its full worth, including Straker, the proletarian chauffeur to John Tanner in Bernard Shaw's Man and Superman, and Drinkwater, the cockney gangster in Captain Brass Bound's Conversion. He also appeared in plays by Granville Barker, John Galsworthy and other contemporaries. In Barry's What Every Woman Knows in the role of the over-enthusiastic James Wiley he impressed the producer Charles Froman, who engaged him for his repertory company at the Duke of York's Theatre. In 1912 Gwen went into management in partnership with Hilda Trevelyan. His career was interrupted by his military service during World War I, serving as an officer in the British Army. During the war Gwen's marriage broke up and was dissolved. His ex-wife remarried but remained on affectionate terms with him, leading roles on stage and screen after peace returned. Gwen's leading roles in the West End during the 1920s included Old Bill in Bruce Benn's Father's Old Bill, M.P., Christian Vi in Lilac Time, the title role in A. A. Milne's The Great Rocksoft, Leo Swinburne in Good Luck by Seymour Hicks and Ian Hay, and Hippolyte Gallopot in Le Haas Frasquita. Looking back at Gwen's career, the Times considered, out of scores of other parts which he played in England and in America, the best remembered are probably Hornblower in Goldsworthy's The Skin Game, the Viennese paterfamilias in Lilac Time, and Samuel P in Fagans and So to Bed in 1926, Gwen began his film career in 1916. A notable early role was a recreation of his stage character Hornblower in a silent FIM of the skin game. His debut in a talking picture was in an adaptation of Shaw's How He Lied to Her Husband, made at Elstree in 1931, of Gwen's many British film roles. The Times considered his best known to be Jess O'Croyd in The Good Companions with Sir John Gielgud and Jesse Matthews and Radfern in Carol Reed's Laburnum Grove with So Cedric Hardwick, his final British film role. As a capitalist trying to take over a family brewery in Cheer Boys Cheer is credited with being the first authentic healing comedy. Gwen appeared in more than 80 films, including Pride and Prejudice, Cheers for Miss Bishop, Of Human Bondage, and The Keys of the Kingdom. George Cukor's Sylvia Scarlet was his first appearance in a Hollywood film as Catherine Hepburn's father. He settled in Hollywood in 1940 and became part of its British colony. 
He had a small role as a Cockney assassin in a Hitchcock film, Foreign Correspondent in 1940. For his father Christmas role in Miracle on 34th Street he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. He received a second Oscar nomination for his role in Mr. 880. Near the end of his career he played one of the main roles in Hitchcock's The Trouble with Harry. On Broadway Gwen starred in a 1942 production of Chekhov's Three Sisters. With Judith Anderson and Ruth Gordon, it was produced by and co-starred Catherine Cornell. Time proclaimed it a dream production by anybody's reckoning, the most glittering cast the theatre has seen, commercially. In this generation, later years, Gwen remained a British subject all his life. When he first moved to Hollywood, he lived at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills. His home in London had been reduced to rubble during the bombings by the German Luftwaffe in World War II. Only the fireplace survived. What Gwen regretted most was the loss of the memorabilia he had collected of the actor Henry Irving. Eventually Gwen bought a house at 617 North Bedford Drive in Beverly Hills, which he later shared with the former Olympic athlete Rodney Soher. At the age of 78 he traveled from his home in California for a reunion with his ex-wife in London. He told a reporter, I never married again because I was very happy with my wife. I simply stayed faithful to the memory of that happiness. Gwen died from pneumonia after suffering a stroke in Woodland Hills, California. Twenty days before his 82nd birthday, he was cremated and his ashes stored in the vault of the Chapel of the Pines Crematory in Los Angeles. Gwen has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1751 Vine Street for his contribution to motion pictures. Partial filmography. The Real Thing at Last. Unmarried. The Skin Game. How He Lied to Her Husband. Hindle Wakes. The Skin Game. Love on Wheels. Friday the 13th. The Good Companions. I Was a Spy. Early to Bed. Cash. Channel Crossing. Warn London, Spring in the Air, Java Head, Waltzes from Vienna, Sylvia Scarlet, The Bishop Misbehaves, The Walking Dead, La Burnham Grove, Anthony Adverse, South Riding, A Yank at Oxford, Penny Paradise, Cheer Boys Cheer, The Doctor Takes a Wife, The Earl of Chicago, Pride and Prejudice, Foreign Correspondent, Cheers for Miss Bishop, one Night in Lisbon, Scotland Yard, The Devil and Miss Jones, A Yank at Eton, Lassie Come Home, The Meanest Man in the World, Between Two Worlds, The Keys of the Kingdom, She Went to the Races, Of Human Bondage, Undercurrent, Miracle on 34th Street, Life with Father, Green Dolphin Street, Apartment for Peggy, Hills of Home, Challenge to Lassie, Louisa, Pretty Baby, Mr. 880, For Heaven's Sake, Peking Express, Bonzo Goes to College, Les Miserables, The Bigamist, Mr. Scoutmaster, The Student Prince, Them, The Trouble with Harry, Calabuch U.S., Title The Rocket from Calabuch, Radio Appearances, Audition Program for the Suspense Radio Program.